If all goes as planned, the first Americans will land and explore a portion of this area. Astronauts Neil A. Armstrong, Edwin E. Aldrin, and Michael Collins, the three men who will make the next and most historic round trip to the moon. Quite a few people actually do um, ask a lot of questions about uh, the lunar landings and if they were real. The flag had a horizontal bar moving through the top of it and that was to keep the flag open because there isn't any air on the moon that would open up the flag. And so as the astronauts Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong were pushing the flagpole into the ground, they had to twist the flagpole back and forth, which made it look like as if the, the flag was waving in the breeze. Now, as they stopped doing that, the flag would continue to wave due to something called inertia, which is the tendency for objects to stay in motion in the vacuum of space. Now, eventually the flag would stop waving because gravity is pulling down on it, and so it would slow down and then stop waving altogether. The moon's surface is actually very bright, and so the dust on the moon is reflecting sunlight. And so when you use a camera, you have to use a shutter speed, which is kind of the length of time that the lens of the camera is open, so how long it's capturing light. You have to use a very short uh, shutter speed uh, when you're on the surface of the moon. And so the shutter speed is so short that it won't capture the faint light um, from the stars in the background. If you watch the video of Apollo 11 touching down on the moon, um, for a while, Apollo 11 was traveling horizontally, and so the thrusters weren't pointed downwards, and so it wouldn't have been kicking dust in, into the, well, kind of uh, uh, around on the surface of the moon. Um, now, eventually, when it does land down, you can see dust actually be thrown up. Um, and so, so, yeah, there is definitely dust that's scattered around um, towards the end of that video. The photograph of Neil Armstrong is he's already on the surface of the moon, and he turned around to take a picture of Buzz Aldrin as he came uh, out of the, the lunar module. And so it does look a little like um, he's in artificial lighting. Uh, but the reason why that is, is because um, so the surface of the moon reflects light. It reflects sunlight. So all of the dust uh, on the surface will be reflecting sunlight. And that, so, so that just illuminates kind of the shadows of the moon. So Buzz Aldrin's kind of coming out of the lunar module um, in a shadow, but it's just the shadows illuminated by all of the sunlight that's reflecting uh, from the dust. I'll get that little piece of dandruff off.